Hi guys, it's Evelyn coming to you with another week of updates. It's actually Wednesday evening, quite late, 9.40ish. I've just come back from a very slow 5k. Um, I haven't started my 10k plan yet. There's four runs, so I've still got time. I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. So I'm just going to have to do them consecutively. But one of them is a rest, like a really slow 45 minute run. So there will be a, a sort of break in between. Uh, one of them will be, have to be done during park run and just after. And then Sundays is like a 75 minute run. So it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, today I felt I must be really tired because I have been up since half five. So um, yeah, I couldn't really run for the whole 5k. A lot of walk breaks and it started to chuck it down. Can you tell my face is soaking? I can't really see it, but when I got home like two minutes ago, it's just dripping off. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, today's been bad weather-wise. The heavens have opened. It's just been raining and everyone all day. Um, when I left, I left about nine-ish and it wasn't raining, but then it started to... Sp I was a bit hot because I wore long sleeves. It's quite warm. And I was thinking, oh, I could do with a little bit of rain now. <laughs> as soon as I said that, it just started chucking it down, so... Wish I hadn't opened my mouth there, but anyway, so I've managed to get to 5K today, which is good, albeit slow. Yesterday I only did a mile. I think the day before I did just over a mile. So yeah, my 5K every day is not working yet, <laughs> but I'm gonna attempt to do my run early, like three o'clock. I know I'm gonna have to work a bit longer tomorrow, but I'm gonna make sure I do a hard stop do my run otherwise I won't do it because it's a interval session and I don't like doing interval sessions on the road I like to do it on the busway and I don't want to go in the busway when it's dark so I have to have to have to do it at three so that's my plan best laid plans and all that do you know me I always say I'm going to do something and then end up not doing it but I've only got four days left so I will do it um but yeah I'll catch you tomorrow and let you know if I did. All right, speak to you in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. Hope you can hear me. I've got my headphones on. I'm walking back home now, so I don't want to switch them off because I'll put them back on. I'm just coming up to this lovely house. They put their lights on for Diwali. I wish they were purple lights, but they're as good as. So I'm just going to walk past and hopefully get on oh no. a somebody's outside the house I can't get a picture but seeing as I'm walking past with the video I might have to do do a pause and do a screen screen share isn't it lovely but yeah um so today I was supposed to do see in the background today I was supposed to do my interval session I come out late again it was about eight ten past eight by the time i left and uh i said i'm doing it today i'm doing it today i don't care sorry about the lighting I don't know. oh sorry about that it's all nice and clear now um but so i put it on my watch you now it's my new watch i'm not used to uh doing stuff on it yet and it's a bit weird how you go to workout. So I put the workout on the watch, on the Connect app and uh, sing to across. I have a video, how to do that on my old watch. I'll link it just in case you'd like to know. But um, I did that, um, but I couldn't find how you got to onto it on the phone, on the watch. Anyway, I worked it out and, uh, but it seems if you let it time out, so like, you know if you start or get ready for a run and then you're still doing stuff and then it comes up with that 30 seconds to power out or like um you know like the power save it seems like if it does that it will just lose that you're doing the workout because when i started it it didn't go back to a different screen it just went back to the time and um it didn't do the workout so i ended up just doing 5k instead and then walking back so this will count as tomorrow's 45 minute easy run. And then um, 
is my day off or my weekend from tomorrow. I will have to work, but I'll take it easy tomorrow so I can, um, I don't have to get out early. I'll go for my run first thing, do my Friday bits and then come back and work, but I will do my run in the morning. Please God, <laughs> please. Hopefully I will. But yeah, so I've got, it's still four days. I've done the 45 minute run, which was supposed to be tomorrow. Well, I did 35 minute plus walking back and the walking back has been about 20 minutes. So I did about 5K, three miles and then two miles walking back. Yeah, I did my uh, my five mile route, but I couldn't be bothered to walk, <laughs> run the whole thing. I know I should have. So it's not raining like it was yesterday. But it is chilly since I'm walking back. My hands are a bit cold, so it's going to be time for gloves soon. Um, not while I'm running, but definitely walking back, I'll need gloves. So, yeah. so let's see how the rest of the week goes. Oh, my time 5k today was 35 minutes just over. So better than yesterday. I ran the whole way. I think I walked a little bit uh, after the 4k just as I got to the top of the hill. Normally that's my 8K turnaround, halfway on my 8K turnaround point. Um, so I walked, I think that's why I needed a 1K. <laughs> but yeah, 35 minutes, run all the way, nearly compared to yesterday's 41 minutes run walk. But the weather's better, felt a little better. And uh, yeah, all right, let's talk to you tomorrow, bye. Hey guys, it's Sunday evening and um, my 10k plan <laughs> didn't go to plan whatsoever. Um, so today I was due to do 75 minutes long run. I had a busy day um, and didn't get around to doing it. And then I um, just went out now. So it was a bit late in the day, although it's not so late, it's just dark now. It, turned dark about six o'clock today actually it went from five to six a little bit of light till five past six totally dark so yeah if I'm ever gonna get runs in I have to do it before I think before th or at three when I finish work or finish at three to run and come back and do more work if, if need be but yeah it's definitely gonna start being dark from four o'clock soon so have to make the most of this uh, <laughs> um, light while we still have it. But the clocks go back next weekend, I think. And then I'll be off to Saudi for a couple of weeks. So <laughs> heat running or treadmill running from then on. But yeah, so this week um, I didn't follow the plan. I didn't do an interval session, um, but I had some good runs. My Friday's mile was 10 minutes something or other so that's a good mile for me my park run which i didn't come back and update you on yesterday was a little bit faster than last week uh still not sub 30 but getting close it was 30 24 but for some reason i've started running longer than the, i usually run although it's supposed to be 5k normally it ends up being about 495 490 something like that um, and this week and last week was 5.07. So when my uh, watch clicked at 5K, it was 30 minutes 11. But actually at the finish, we went up to about 30.24, something like that. But still a good 20 seconds faster than last week. So if uh, all goes well, I will at least get 30.05 next week. Um, but that's the day before the 10K. So will I follow the plan for next week? Who knows? I will endeavour to try and do it, but if not, so be it. Um, I cannot promise anything. Um, today, or well, this week, I did... So this week, I did about 27.7 kilometres for the week. Um, about probably 8k walking as well. Did about three walks. Um, maybe a little bit less, but yeah. Two, three five Ks, one 4.2K, because today's run was supposed to be 75 minutes. 
um, but in the end I did a suggested run for my watch, my Garmin 55, and it basically said a recovery run of 32 minutes at nine kilometers per minute. No, nine minutes per kilometer. <laughs> um, I couldn't go that slow, so I averaged about 740. I went as slow as I could. And at the end of it, it asked questions, but I couldn't really read what it was saying. I think it was just asking how did it fit, what was the effort, and how did you feel? I couldn't really see the effort, so I just left it at one, which means hopefully my easy run will go down or faster, but I don't know. And then my um, how did I feel, I just left it as the line, middle of the line, because I couldn't really see <laughs> what it was saying, so I'm making that assumption. But that's good that after the suggested run, it asks how you feel, and I'm sure it then will com accommodate for future suggestions suggested run so we'll see but um yeah i will still use the second week as guidance of what i should be doing and try and do it if i can fit it in but i think next week will be a busy week because i not only have to work i'm gonna have to sort out my flights accommodation and i'm sure it's going to be full-on days um, for the run up to actually going on site so it's going to be a busy week and then also got to pack and sort out everything so yeah gonna be a busy week next week so i'm not sure i'll be in the best state to do a good run on sunday but i will try my hardest and enjoy it look forward to it as i always do running around luton it's weird to pay for a run around luton where you already run but the course i the course is not where i normally run often so and we do come through the park at the end but the rest of it I don't I've done it before but I don't do it often so it's fine and normally I do the half so I will probably go back to the half next year if at all I do it at all so we'll see we shall see all right I hope you enjoyed this video this week if you do please do like and if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe thank you so much to those who come back and watch and to all the new subscribers I'm at 77 now Oh, so much appreciated. Not long to 100 and then I can actually claim my actual name for the channel. So looking forward to that. So yeah, please do enjoy and um, I shall see you next week for another update. Take care. Bye.